Hi planner people. Um, today I want to do a little bit different type of planner video. It's planner related, not necessarily about planners. Um, and it really stems from a Facebook thread from a couple of weeks ago. We were talking about our favorite planner bags and a couple of us really like the small Camilla backpack. And there's not a lot of videos out there about this particular bag. And someone said, I wish there were, you know, some reviews out there to watch. And I thought, well, I could probably do one. It's my favorite bag and I have a few of them. So let's just do a little tour of the Camilla backpack. And I'll kind of compare it to some other bags too that you might be familiar with, just so you can get an idea of, you know, what does this Camilla backpack hold in comparison to a bag I'm familiar with. So, first of all, this is what I keep in my bag on a daily basis, not a lot. So I have this Hobonichi drawer pouch. I think it's called the Ane or Ane. It's the medium size. And I just keep a variety of crap in here. Some band-aids and sticky notes and correction tape and some pills and washi tape, tape measure, a cloth for my um, iPhone screen, a couple of extra pens. So that's kind of my on the go bag there. I keep my Jillio Slim Apunto with my Hobonichi Weeks. It's actually a Mega Weeks. And I have my wallet. I'm kind of going through um, a wallet crisis. I can't seem to find the perfect wallets, but right now I'm carrying this Patricia Nash really skinny tall wallet and it's not too bad. And then I have this cute little pouch by Relic and this is where I keep my headphones. So I got my AirPods in here. And then I like these little ear things that help them stay in my ears. Anyway, I call them ear squishies because, um, you know, they're squishy. So that's really the majority of what I keep in my bag. And so let's take a look at a Camilla backpack and um, see how well this fits. And I'll have to apologize in advance because all these bags I'm about to show you have buckles on them and they clang around and make a terrible noise. So here we go. So I will show you this is one of my Camilla backpacks. It's one that I've been carrying it long enough that it's nice and broken in and soft and I just really love it. <clears throat> so let's look at the front. So this is the front. It says fossil on it. Um, it's got a nice handle. You can carry it from the top or you can Carry it like a backpack and you can also unhook these and you can do it as a shoulder bag and I think if you're short enough like me you can also do it as a crossbody bag. I actually just leave it as a backpack so I've never tried it but it is convertible. And the back also has this nice pocket here in the side and it goes to here. So let's take a look at the inside. So hopefully you can see inside this bag, but there are two slip pockets here. I'm trying to move the bag around so you can hopefully get some light in there and see better. And then we have a zipper pocket on this side. So now I'll show you how I put my stuff in the bag. I like to lay things flat in my bag. So this Hobonichi door pouch actually fits nice and sits nice and flat in the bottom of this bag. And so it actually even has a little room on the side. You know, it's got a little wiggle room, so it could be a little bit bigger. And so 
Let me move this light closer. Maybe I can get inside this bag a little bit better. So there you go. And then I put my planner in. And then in goes my wallet and my headphones. So the headphones I could actually put off to the side here. So there you go. Um, that's pretty much what I keep in my bag on a daily basis when I'm going to work. As you can see, there's quite a bit of room left in here. So I could put more things in here. It's a nice bag. When you first get it, it's a little stiff and you feel like it's not opening up as wide. And um, it really only takes a couple of weeks and then it gets nice and soft and uh, pliable. So another thing, if you look on like the website, people's reviews will slam these straps. They say that they're not comfortable if the bag is really heavy. And I will tell you that if you take a second or two just to make sure these are not twisted once you put the bag on, you won't have any problem with that. I simply slide my thumbs down the straps after I put the bag on and it's perfectly comfortable. So just takes like two seconds to make sure the straps are nice and flat and you won't have that problem. So Camilla backpack, my favorite. So let's compare it to a couple other bags and I'll put the same stuff in and you can see how it fits. Okay, this is the Michael Kors Raya Slim backpack. Um, I think it's pronounced Raya. I've heard it pronounced Raya and I've heard it pronounced Rhea. I really don't want to call it Rhea because that makes me think of diarrhea, which is gross. So let's just quick look inside the bag before we start. It's kind of a wedge shape, okay? Not the traditional backpack shape that you're used to. It's got a very small amount of space in this front pocket. It actually looks pretty spacious right now because the bag is empty. Once the bag is full, you really don't wanna keep anything real bulky in there. So keep that in mind. It's got a little cell phone pocket on the back. And I haven't had this bag very long, so it's a little bit stiff. I'm hoping it will uh, loosen up a little bit. So this is the nicest part of the whole bag right here is they've got this super awesome pocket that could work very well for a tablet. So it's not as padded as like a laptop pocket in a backpack but it definitely has been reinforced. I can feel it's just kind of uh, thicker here. So it's a great place for your tablet and it's got this nice zipper pocket on it. It did come with a little leash for your keys so you don't lose your keys, but I don't like that. So I took it out. And then on this side, you've got two slip pockets. One's kind of skinny, like for pens or something. And then each slip pocket has another slip pocket on the front of it. So there's four pockets on that side. So let's see how my stuff fits in this bag. So the base is quite wide on it. So this fits really nicely in the bottom. I don't know if you can see in there. And then I put in my planner, my wallet, and my headphones. So lots of room left. I could carry more things. So, and then let's zip it up. And there we go. That's what it looks like. So it's a cute bag. Uh, if I could change anything about this bag, I would have the zippers open a little bit wider. Like if they went down another 
centimeter or two that and so it would be easier to see in that would be a little better but it's not too bad actually and as I said I haven't had this bag that long so it's possible that this is going to loosen up a little bit so let's move on so this is the fall robin Pial Robin, is that how you say it? Pial Robin, it's fun to say. Mini Konkin, it's actually the Mini 2 because it's got the leather patch instead of the nylon-y type one. Not my favorite bag. I do have this in the classic size and then also the 15 inch laptop version and I do like those. So it's got a little front pocket it's going to just hold enough, well, like things you need to grab quickly. Throw your keys in there, um, you know, your chapstick, whatever. And then inside, there really is no pockets, which is kind of a bummer. I wish they could have put a pocket here on the inside or something. It does have this pocket where the seat cushion is. This is meant to be a seat cushion, like if you go to like a stadium for a football game, or if you go outside and have a picnic and you don't want to sit on the ground, there's a little cushion here. You're supposed to leave that in. But otherwise, it's just, you know, one big cavern in here. So let's fill her up. So this would not fit flat on the bottom, I'm pretty sure. Not really, no. Ooh, yeah, it's noisy, sorry. So I could put that there. Planner. Wallet. Headphones. So like everything does fit in there. It's just not my favorite because if you're trying to, you know, have you ever carried your bag and you're trying to dig something out of your bag? I just feel like there's not enough wiggle room in here. So, um, I also wish these straps were a little longer because once I put this on, I feel like the backpack is just resting very snugly against my back. Too snugly. And um, I didn't mention it has these side pockets, but quite frankly, they're so small that, you know, you can't really fit much in there. You could put some pens or something like that in there, but you're not putting a water bottle in there. You're not putting your phone in there unless you've got, you know, a Nokia from 1995. So it's super cute. And it's not bad if you need to take your stuff out and you can lay this flat on a surface. But you know, like if you're in your car or something and you're just trying to dig around in there, it's just not ideal. So I'm probably actually putting this for sale on Facebook. Moving on. So this is the uh, Radley London backpack. And um, what can I say about this? It's got a pocket on the front. Pocket goes here. And it's got a pocket on the back. That pocket goes to here. Of course, it's got the cute little Scotty dog, which is like the cutest part of the whole bag. It is not convertible, but it is very comfortable. So on the inside, they were smart enough to make the inside a light color so that it's easier to see in there. I hate when the inside of a bag is black or dark brown, but that's, that's a pretty deep bag for a mini type backpack. I mean, there is a lot of room in this bag. It's got two slip pockets on one side. 
and then it's got a zipper pocket on the other side. So let me turn the bag around so you can see the other side. Slip pockets here. So let's fill her up. So in goes the drawer pouch and that can lay flat. So, and the nice thing about that is once I have that in there, it is not tipping over. In goes the planner. Nice and flat. Wallet. Headphones. Ta-da! So there you go. Yep. There's plenty of room in there. I could still throw more things in there if I wanted to. You like that chipmunk staring up at you, don't you? Or he's a squirrel, I'm not sure which. So, it's a nice bag. So now this isn't a backpack purse, obviously, but because so many people are familiar with the Rachel Satchel, I thought maybe I would just throw this in the mix so that if you use a bag like this, you can see how it stacks up against the mini backpack. So the uh, fossil bag that people really fell in love with was the Sydney. And I think that might have been just a hair bigger than this one. So after the Sydney went away, they came out with the Rachel. So that's what this is. It's the Rachel satchel. I don't think I have any Sydneys. I have all Rachels in one jewelry. A jewelry is kind of the, um, let's see, how do I explain it? Fossil made that line for Marshalls and TJ Maxx. So it's a little bit, um, maybe not as high quality as the regular bags that you get. The leather is a little thinner. Um, it's not my favorite bag. It's kind of floppy and I don't know. Anyway, so this is in the color persimmon and I wish they would make the Camilla backpack in this color. I absolutely adore it. There's a pocket on each side here. Nice deep pockets too, because it will fit the giant iPhone. And then two double zipper pulls, which is hugely popular with me. And this bag opens up wide. This is the, the best part of the whole bag is the fact that these zippers go down so far and you can really open this sucker up and see inside. And so there's two slip pockets in here and then there's a zipper pocket on this side. So. So let's put my things in here. I could actually put this wallet next to the planner. So there's still room in there. There you go. There's your Rachel Satchel. So this orange one is a favorite of mine. So what I would like to do next is kind of compare the Fossil Camilla mini backpack side by side with those bags that I just showed you. So luckily they both fit in the shot, yeah. So, you know, these are approximately the same height. Um, they're about the same width. So I think maybe the fossil is a smidge wider at the bottom, if I look at the bottom. But um, pretty much the same size. Obviously, this one doesn't have that wedge shape. So you get a little more space because you're not angling towards the top. So wonder if I can show you the bottom. They're pretty close. And then we have our fossil against the Fjall Robin. 
This is much narrower. It is not as wide. It's a little taller though. And here's the Radley. It is narrower for sure, but it's taller. And you know, they look about the same width. This kind of, this is squishing out a little bit because it's empty, but they're about the same width. So I guess I could show you these next to each other, although they're, you know, different styles of bags. This one's definitely wider at the bottom, shorter, and not quite as wide, but pretty, pretty darn close, actually. If I look at the bottoms, they're about the same. They're pretty close to the same across the bottom. So the last thing I want to do is just show you a couple different varieties of colors that this bag is available in. I don't have all of them, but I have the ones that I really like. And so if you're not digging this color here, I don't know how true to color this shows up on my phone right now with my terrible lighting, but I'll show you a couple others. So basic black, you can't go wrong with it. This one's kind of a dusty blue. This one is kind of a reddish brown. It's called Henna on the website. So here's one they call Spruce. It's a dark green. It did come with this pink tassel which I thought was such an odd choice when I bought the bag. I intended to take it off because I thought it was weird, but it's kind of grown on me, so I've just left it on there. And then this one is called Fig. It's kind of like a dark maroon, maybe, burgundy kind of color with gold accents. And I haven't had this bag that long. It's still a little bit stiff, but it is gorgeous. I want to buy the matching wallet to this. They've got one that has the same detailing on it. So this guy's a little bit of an oddball. He's different than the others, even though he's still a Camilla mini backpack. I bought this at an outlet store and I suspect this may have been an earlier design because um, I don't see these anymore in like the regular stores. So it's got the same handle design. It's the same size, but on the back, the straps are attached a little bit different. So instead of having a D-ring on each side, you have one D-ring. It says fossil here. There's a pocket, which is not on the others. And um, so it's just a little bit different. The inside's pretty much the same. I feel like this bag doesn't open up as wide as the others. So I do like how the two browns look together. And you can still turn this into a shoulder bag because it does have the rings here to do so. So that one's pretty cute. It doesn't have that zipper pocket though. So they must have gotten rid of this pocket in favor of the zipper pocket on the side. I think that's it. So I hope that video was helpful. I hope I didn't like disappoint you because you're expecting a planner video and you had to look at handbags. But I just was hoping maybe people would be really into the Camilla small backpack and they'd start buying them like crazy and then Fossil would just keep making more and come up with tons of colors. So one thing I should mention, the Camilla backpack does come in a larger size, but it's it's taller, actually. I don't know how much deeper or wider it is. It doesn't look like it's too much wider, but it looked a little funny on me because I'm 5'2", so the taller backpack was kind of silly on me. So if you're looking for one, but you don't think that the mini is going to work for you, you can always try the bigger one. So let me know if you have any questions, and thanks for joining me. Bye!